You said you might have a little surprise for uh, my audience here. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. If we if we're gonna call this a surprise, it's a bit of a a, a wacky uh, a wacky thing. I'm gonna pull out of my back pocket here. If I'm down for it. Have you ever seen an early '80s sci-fi B movie called Trancers? <laughs> You mentioned that you asked me that before, but I'm sure other people have. I'm kind I of have. also asking, you know, the world the audience. But <laughs> it's sort of like a Blade Runner meets Valley Girl. Um, Valley Girl, off, good one. You know, it's Helen Hunt's first movie that she Ooh. starred in, but the real star is Tim Thomerson, uh, who a lot of people know from TV stuff, and he was a comedian, and he plays. Uh, a, a future cop named Jack Death. And Jack Death is in the future fighting transers, which are basically the zombie state that people turn into if they're following this cult leader with mind control named Martin Whistler. Martin Whistler goes back into time to the early 80s, and Jack Death goes back into time chasing him and fighting transers along the way. I didn't realize that Trancers was my favorite B movie ever <laughs> until the pandemic when like everyone else, I was just sitting around watching anything on TV to keep my attention away from the virus. And um, I, I love B movies and I kind of like stumbled on it one day. I was like, God, you know, I, I, I know who Tim Thomerson is. I mean, we all know Helen Hunt. I remember this box cover and I, you know, Charles band is this legend of B movies. He's sort of a Roger Corman guy and he had directed and produced the movie. I'm like, how have I never seen transfers? This will be fun. I put it on. And within the first scene, I was like, Oh my God, I love this movie so much. I can't explain it. So I watched it, then I watched Trancers 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then went back and watched the recently unearthed Trancers 1.5 City of Angels. And I realized that Jack Death was my favorite movie character. He's sort of a hard-boiled, you know, noir cop, and um, that, that I loved this movie. So then when the pandemic was in full swing and the, you, could, um, do, you could have patios were the only thing that was open, you know, some of the uh, clubs started doing like entertainment on the patios, you know, like you could have a, you couldn't have a band, but you could have a singer or a DJ. Yeah. Right. So I went to every single club in Long Beach area where I was living in Orange County and said, here I am. I can do three, four sets a night. And they all said yes. And I was doing three shows a week, doing three sets a night. Wow. Of All solo, all acoustic, playing a mix of cheetahs and covers and just all my different stuff. But, and, uh, I decided that I needed a good, rollicking, crowd-pleasing sing-along ending for this acoustic set I was doing, and I wrote a song about trancers called Jack Death, and I figured that no one in the audience will have heard of this movie. Sorry, my dog. Um, but it's so ridiculous that if I told the story and then played the song, people would get into it, and by the end, every single time, the whole audience was singing Jack Death and laughing at this ridiculous song. So... I'm excited. This is not on any album. I really only have been doing this at these live acoustic shows, but I thought it would be fun uh, and that you might enjoy this. It's pretty ridiculous. So hold on to your hats. <laughs> this song is called Jack Death. And it's about the movie Trancers. There's trancers that dance with the devil, you know With black collar eyes like vampires below They'll take you down the line and swallow your soul Take your last breath Jack Death Cigarettes and heartbreak like grease in my hair Blood stains on trench coats and cold dagger stairs. Time warps and mind warps and assassins despair. Don't second guess. Jack Death. So take your breath. Jack Death. He's a hot blooded, cold hearted killer through time. A 20th century man as in 1985 
Shopping malls and shopping malls and henchmen for high, but it's the girl that sets his heart on fire. Yeah! Take your hand solos, Rick Deckard and Dr. Jones. I just need me some Tim Thomerson and a bottle of Patron. Cause I drink like a tornado and baby then I'm gone. So raise your glass. Jack Death. With baited breath. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jack Death. Cause he's the best. Wow, that's going to be hard to top, man. <laughs> hey, Frank, thanks a lot, man, for taking the time to come on the show, man. Great having you. And you're, you're awesome, man. Everything you're doing is so cool. Thanks, appreciate man. Appreciate it. Appreciate that. Appreciate the support. Uh, you know, if you want to check out my stuff, you can find me on Instagram at the Frank Meyer or uh, Streetwalk and Cheetahs are on Instagram as well. All my bands are. Uh, and then Facebook, I'm Frank M. Meyer, middle initial, because apparently there's a lot of Germans out there with my name. And um, again, Streetwalk and Cheetahs are on there, Trading Aces, Highway 61, Angus Khan, Sweet Justice, Antivirals, Anti-Fashion, The Doberman, Thor, <laughs> James Williamson, Shameless, Warrior Soul, Blind House... I know I'm forgetting something. Man, you are the busiest. Eddie Spaghetti stuff. Eddie Spaghetti, <laughs> you know. Thanks, Frank. Appreciate Got it, man. It, man.